capitalism at its core is to do whatever is necessary to earn capital. And then some will even reinvest it to earn more capital. And the goal is to get as much capital as you can over a lifetime, which in my estimate is sort of fruitless because you know what? None of us can own anything. Yeah. Obama had it right, although it got a little messed up in translation. We can't own anything because you're not here long enough. Everything you so-called own will someday belong to somebody else. Count on it, okay? <laughs> Everything you supposedly own will be yours for a short period of time, perhaps 80 years. That's about the human lifespan. Think about it. In terms of historical march, that's short. 80 years, you're not here for very long. If you put all of your energy into amassing stuff, to prove that you are a good capitalist, what have you done? My take on that is, okay, if you want to do capitalism, that's fine. I, you know, I even get into it a little bit myself, reluctantly, because my goal would be to share. I'll give you a little uh, illustration of how I am. My family and I moved into our home at, in the Napa Valley. We lived there for 10 years. The first day we moved in, the van came up and peeled off to the right. We shared a drive with a neighbor on the left. Well, the van came in. This guy came running over, and I thought to myself, good, he's going to help unload the truck. I was so happy. Wrong. He wanted to point out the boundary. There was a brick wall between our properties, and he wanted to be sure that I understood that the brick wall was built two feet into his property so that he would have two feet, so he could walk along that two-feet lane and water the plants on top of the brick wall. I had him repeat that so I could fully understand it. <laughs> He obliged, and I got it. I said, oh, good. So you need these two feet so that you can comfortably water the plants. I said, you know, two feet seems rather restricting. How would you like four, six, eight? I was giving him footage all the way through my front yard, through the house, through the backyard. I was about to see the neighbor's property, but he finally got it. A light clicked. Oh, you're not concerned about the property line. No. <laughs> In fact, if you'd like, you could sit on my porch with a long-range hose and water the plants from there. I mean, whatever you want. At that point, he went home and changed clothes and came back to help unload. And that had been my goal all along anyway. <laughs> but the, the truth is, I am not hung up on property lines, folk, because I realize it's not mine. I share it. I share the universe with all of us. Whatever is mine is yours.